A woman had just exited her Mississippi home last May as a police officer responding to a call about a domestic dispute entered the living room. Police. Sergeant Greg Capers with the Indianola Police Department yelled as he walked into the home. A boy then darted into the living room with his hands over his head, according to newly released body camera footage obtained by the Washington Post. In a split second, 11-year-old Adarian Murray, who'd called 911 for help, was shot in the chest by Capers, the video shows. Oh my god, Capers can be heard yelling as Adarian screams, gets to his feet and runs out the front door. The boy survived, but suffered a collapsed lung, fractured rib and lacerated liver. The Murray family has since sued the police department, accusing it of reckless disregard, gross negligence and poor training and supervision of its officers. In the past seven months, they've also repeatedly called for the public release of Capers's body cam footage. The video was made available this week by Mississippi's Department of Public Safety following a lengthy probe into the shooting by the state's Bureau of Investigation. Last month, the investigation's findings were presented to a grand jury, which determined there was no criminal conduct by Capers in the case. Capers, who was placed on administrative leave in May, was reinstated following the decision. Michael Carr, an attorney for Capers, told the Post in the statement that the footage's release was unexpected, and was supposed to be under a protective order as part of the ongoing lawsuit against his client. However, Carlos Moore, who's representing Adarian and his mother, Nicola Murray, said state law allowed the Department of Public Safety to release the video and other materials related to the Bureau of Investigation's probe through public records requests once the investigation was complete. The world can now see that the Murrays have told the truth about what really happened the entire time. That tragic morning could have been avoided, Moore said. The Department of Public Safety did not immediately respond to requests for comment about the release. The video, about two minutes long culminating in the shooting, leaves questions unanswered in the case, including whether responding officers were told there were children inside the home. David Harris a professor at the University of Pittsburgh School of Law who specializes in police misconduct and use of force, said the more information officers are given, the better equipped they are to make difficult decisions. It all happens so fast that if the officer knew there were other people present, especially children, maybe another decision would have been made in that split second, he said. According to police records, the father of one of Nicola Murray's children arrived at the home during the early hours of May 20, making her fearful, she told investigators. She gave Adarian a phone and asked him to call for help.